Far Cry Primal is a case study in how a game's setting can drive its every layer, from the tone of its story, to the dangers of its world, to the brutality of its combat. That setting is the Stone Age. It's 10,000 BC, and our protagonist, Takar, is searching for the lost members of his Ouija tribe. They're scattered across the Oros Valley in Central Europe, a dense wilderness of forests, swamps, and frozen caves, complete with mammoths and saber-toothed tigers. As Takar, you'll build up a new Ouija village with a multifarious cast of primitive characters. The identity of each of the game's three tribes, and the political dynamic between them, sets up conflicts in a natural way. But so too does Primal's world. In fact, most of the game's conflicts arise from nature. Primal still uses the basic open-world framework of a modern Far Cry, with a cascading series of outposts to capture, weapons to unlock, and upgrades to craft. But the Stone Age setting is far more foreboding than those of Far Cry's past. Here, vicious animals travel in packs, striking as a collective whole while you slink through the undergrowth toward enemy camps. A day and night cycle also adds more tension to the world. Predators are more abundant and aggressive in the darkness. Even now, after dozens of hours in this valley, I still feel anxiety as the sun goes down, hoping I have enough animal fat to ignite my club and ward off hulking carnivores. This focus on survival permeates Far Cry Primal. In the northern wastes, the cold becomes a factor, making each bonfire a glowing beacon of safety as you fight to stay warm. In Primal's lush swampland, avoiding danger means avoiding the water, where hidden predators abound. And as a solitary hunter with simple tools, you're also less equipped to defend yourself than the protagonists of Far Cry 3 and 4. Gone are handguns and grenade launchers. Here you have spears, clubs, and slingshots. They not only bring a slow, measured pace to the combat, but also add to Primal's overall identity and tone. And although there are more ways to die in this Far Cry than any of its predecessors, Primal never feels too difficult. There's a fine balance between tension and fun that elevates the whole experience. The setting can also be a detriment, though. The simple tool set serves the game's themes well, but with enough time, it becomes clear just how limited your tools really are. In stealth scenarios, I rely on my silent bow. In open combat, I swing my club wildly. When hunting elk and grizzly bears, I use my spears. There are several more creative tools, but by and large, I find myself relying on the same simplistic options time after time. Primal's reliance on Stone Age combat detracts from the emergent scenarios that occur elsewhere. But then there's the Beastmaster skill tree, and it's the most impactful change to the Far Cry formula. It allows you to tame creatures, recruiting them to hunt, fight, and travel with you. Panthers kill enemies without alerting larger groups. Wolves can pounce on distant archers while you close the gap. Your owl, on the other hand, is far more subtle as it scouts the land ahead, alerting you of possible threats. The Beastmaster abilities are the embodiment of primal strengths. When it uses the Stone Age setting to elevate the combat and reinforce the brutal tone of its world, it thrives. It fosters a give-and-take relationship with the wilderness, granting you the means to survive, but also threats to overcome. That focus on primitive times can become a hindrance at certain points, with limited tools and repetitive combat, but in the end, Far Cry Primal fleshes out almost every layer of its brutal world.